close our silent auction, if I may, and then we can give you our undivided attention because we're very anxious to see what you have planned for us. So sorry ladies, uh, auction is closed, silent auction is closed. I hope you all enjoy your goodies. We're excited about what was over there. Thank you, Greg. I apologize. My pleasure. Thank you. Okay, fantastic. Well, this is going to be real easy because Gina has mastered this. Basically, Gina, you have a bucket and you have a head of, of iceberg lettuce. We we thought maybe a melon would work for this. It did not. A head of cabbage did not work well for this. Turns out a head of iceberg lettuce is the right thing to put in the bottom of here if you're not using a pumpkin or something like that. In this case, a beautiful iceberg lettuce. This time of year, the iceberg lettuce is kind of small, so Gina was cutting another one in half and putting that down underneath. She was taking a knife and cutting that in half and putting it down underneath. <laughs> We're helping Gina break out of her shell today. She, uh, we put her, she is a, a fantastic chef that runs the Mikey Cole here. And pretty much, this is my way of getting her out and, and seeing other people besides those men down there. Who wants to look at those guys all day? Fantastic. Now, after she puts on the... Sure, you can do anything you want. Actually, if these um, young men want to hold two of them while you get a table, I hate to put them on the floor. I'm just funny like that. Oh, fantastic. Well, she'll start holding this stuff up in the air, too, because Gina's like that. Fantastic. So Gina has a bucket. She's put some iceberg lettuce into the bucket. And this is basically something to hold the skewers, plus it keeps the bucket light enough so the, the bucket isn't so heavy. 
Fantastic. Now after that, Tina's going to take some beautiful curly lettuce. This could be red oak or red leaf lettuce. This could be kale. And it basically sets a nice base to look like a beautiful garden coming out. She basically just washes this lettuce and refriger refrigerates it overnight and it makes it crispy and green. And once she puts that in there, she will hold that up and show you that also. Which it looks just like this. So that's why it's an edible arrangement, ladies, because hopefully, except for the bucket, it's all going to be edible. Like I said, in the fall, you can do a beautiful pumpkin or a butternut squash. It makes a nice base, and you can carve it or paint it. It's a lot of fun. Okay, now after that, Gina has made some pineapple flowers where she just took a flower cutter and cut them into, cut them into flower shapes. Yes, she did. She also does pine, uh, butterflies, which she'll hold one up now. She does beautiful butterflies which is what makes her feel so happy, and that's why she was able to wear this nice outfit. <laughs> Excellent, Gina. Okay, Gina, so she has some nice bamboo skewers here. These are eight-inch bamboo skewers. You can buy them in packs of 100. They're not so awfully expensive. If you ever need something like that, come and see me. And she is... <laughs> She, and she's using the grapes there to make sure the pineapples do not slide down onto the stick too far. And I don't want to mess with the one that she did back there because she wore clothes and I got her out there. I just call her up. And pretty much, yes, yeah, so she's running grapes on there. You know you get a bunch of grapes, you never know what to do with the loose grapes that you have. They're always rolling around. Put them on a stick, cut something into a flower. And the best part that Gina found about making these edible arrangements is it's great for your diet because you have all this extra fruit to consume. What are you going to do with all these eggs? Yeah, your kids aren't going to eat them. Your husband's not going to eat them. Beautiful, Gina. Okay, keep doing that, Gina. And what Gina has done today is she's assembled. Some of these have chocolate in them, as you see, and then some of them are just straight fruit. So really, the sky's the limit. You can do anything on these. I guess you could make a vegetable edible arrangement. You can pretty much really do anything you want with this. So I guess you could do lollipops. I, you know, I really haven't thought about it too much. And apparently, you can send these things in the mail because, you know, overnight them. I guess you can overnight them. So you can make these and send them to your family. But it's a lot of fun for us. Uh, some of the things, and I believe, I believe your committee today is going to auction these off or put these as another auction item. So, like I said, we have some chocolate ones done with strawberry and hazelnut and chocolate-covered bananas and chocolate-covered pineapples. And then these here are straight fruit items. Which is, a, and, and once again, this was a challenge for us, brought to you by, by your committee. We have never done anything like this before, so we are very happy to do this, and it was a learning process for us all. Thank you, thank you, please, thank you very much. So these will be up here if someone wants to bid on them. That's absolutely fantastic. They're fresh and delicious, and it was our pleasure as always. I hope the meal was well. These guys do a great job. I have many more staff members in this that just work so diligently, and we're so excited for this. So thank you so much.